Hi Aquarius, welcome back. Aquarius, this is going to be uh, your general quickie reading for, uh, it's actually a bi-weekly, week, uh, starting with week of January 21st. Um, keep in mind these are general readings, so uh, they're not going to be for everyone, but if they do uh, resonate, please do like, share, and subscribe. If you're new to me, welcome. Don't forget to check out my social media account links below. Those are new. Um, but once those pages grow, I plan to go live there too, so don't miss out. So, Aquarius. Let's see what we got going on for you. Week of January 21st. For Aquarius. Look at this one. So, Aquarius, recent past, you have the Hierophant in the reverse, um, the Six of Cups, been seeing that in your readings for a while now. Um, you know, a lot of you are breaking the mold this year. <laughs> you know, it is the decade of Aquarius, right? The age of Aquarius, but I feel like you're trying to go about things in a different way, in a new way trying things you've maybe never tried before, uh, going out of the norm, out of the box, which truly, Aquarius, you're in your element the most when you are doing that. Um, you're not typically a rule follower anyways. But I feel like in the recent past, um, you know, just having renewed passion um, in your energy. Some of you might have also reconnected with an old friend, a soulmate, for some of you, an ex. Like, I've been seeing that <laughs> in your readings for like the past three weeks or so. Um, so it's still showing up in the energy. Um, so for a lot of you, I know that has already occurred. For some of you, it's still here, so possibility. But if it wasn't an ex, I just feel like you're, you know what you're reconnecting with? Who you are, Aquarius. Um, Last year was a very um, karmic year for all the signs, but in particular, Aquarius had some pretty rough readings. So I feel like, you know, you, you're you determined to have that new beginning this year, and I see that. So um, I do feel like coming up in this week, there's a heavy energy on work. Um But I feel like, Aquarius, a lot of you are reaching the level in your career um, or in your life even where you are no longer the worker bee, so to speak, but the teacher. So um, a lot of you are re reaching mastery level in whatever it is your craft is, whatever your hobby it is, whatever you're good at. And so I do see you continuing to work on that this week, trying to also let go of some of the rigidity of being an Aquarius. Aquarius is the fixed sign, but I see Aquarius, you're trying to be a little more go with the flow and a less rigid. <laughs> so that's good. Also, I feel like a lot of you are trying to um, I can't think of the saying. Of course, I'm terrible at sayings, but teach by doing, I guess. Does that make sense? Teach with your actions, not with your words. All right. So coming up in the future energy, you've got the Nine of Swords in the reverse. The Eight of Cups in the reverse, though. And then the Empress in the reverse. So that's interesting. Also, what showed up is the Eight of Wands in the reverse. So Aquarius. Change doesn't happen overnight, guys. And so I feel like, yes, you have a lot of positive energy coming up here. But um, <sighs> I 
Then you also have movement backwards coming up here in the future energy. So we're towards the end of this time period. It's a bi-weekly. I feel like, <clears throat> you know, a lot of you are trying to block out the negative thoughts. And that's really all this is. Is, you know, trying to uh, block the negative thinking that's held you down in the past. Trying to focus on what the things you can control. Um, because you do have the Nine of Swords, but it's in the reverse. So that's coming out of your head, you know, which I saw that in your midweek. So check that out. You know, also trying to stop worrying about those things of which you cannot control. Okay. But then there's this look back period towards the end of the week, looking back on, um, for some of you, a past person. Like I said, I do see somebody from the past that may have recently uh, made an appearance back in your life. If they didn't make a physical appearance, they definitely made an appearance in your thoughts, in your energy, in your emotions. And I see like, it's like steady movement forward, but you know, the brain takes a while to catch up. Your emotions take a while to catch up. Uh, well, actually for Aquarius, it's the opposite. Your brain is full speed of head um, and, but yet you forget you're also an emotional being. Okay. And sometimes Aquarius can get so caught up in their next steps and their next movement forward that it almost takes them off guard when they figure out, Oh my God, I still am hurting a little bit <laughs> you know? or when those emotions resurface, it's almost su surprising to an Aquarius because your mind has already left that situation, but then the emotions may creep in and remind you that, yes, you've come a long way, but, you know, emotions take a much longer time to cope with, to get over with, and you can't just leap forward like that. So I feel like you're getting like a little reminder this week um, about that. Um, and it may throw you off a little bit, you know. But, I feel like you're determined to let that go. <laughs> to see things from another perspective. Uh, you want to, you just want to stop vacillating emotionally on it. I think mentally you're already on to your next move. But um, for a lot of you, this has to deal with a past relationship. Not all of you. Some, some of you, it's just past ways of thinking, like I said, getting out of that rut. But I do see the Ten of Cups here coming up in the future energy, so it's not going to last long, Aquarius. Some of you might be considering reconciling with somebody, um, that you had blocked communication with or they had blocked communication with you. Um, you might have let go. Let go of this person already. That some of you are considering um, like reconciling uh, a relationship or a friendship all right, seeing it from a different perspective, maybe trying to see things from the other person's point of view, which um, is not always, you know, a strong suit of people. Although I do feel like Aquarius is pretty good at putting themselves in other people's shoes, but, you know, if you've been stubborn and rigid in the past and not been able to do that, I feel like Regardless if you let an actual person back in or not, the energy is that of shifting your perspective on life, shifting your perspective on what's possible for you, and um, also how you see people. So, that's really positive. Yeah, I feel like that's a message that can apply both to love and career, to be honest with you. And does apply to both. So. 
It's pretty straightforward. Let me tell you uh, the zodiac signs I have here for you. Oops, I just dropped one of my... always keep little racks on my... Little gems on my table. Just FYI. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> ADD. I have a Taurus here. <laughs> I have... Um, fire... Aries, Leo, Sag, I have water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Possibly another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. That's almost all of them, right? It's a general read. Don't get caught up on that. If the message resonated, awesome. Uh, check me for my in-depth love readings next week. And I wish you all the very best in the meantime. Namaste.